Today's retro spot is on the Kenner, Batman the Animated Series, the Joker Mobile. Figures sold separately as indicated down below on the box. We've got a picture of the Joker driving the Joker Mobile with pop-up guns and launching Smile Missile. You'll also see that there is the silhouette of the Batman. Batman up the corner there. On the top of the box, we've got a picture of the actual vehicle with the Joker figure. Again, figures sold separately as indicated by the good folks at Kenner. Uh, on the side, the same picture. Same picture once again. Same picture yet again. By the way, this comes to us from 1992. So if you were to travel back in time to buy a brand new one, you'd want to travel back to 1992. On the back of the package, or back of the box, gives the instructions for the vehicle. The hood can slide back to change the Roadster into a mini assault tank. Anti-aircraft guns emerge through the front of hood and then pull up the exhaust pipe and then the Smile missile actually launches. Down below, other figures that you can get from the delightful folks at Kenner. We've got ourselves Combat Bat, Bat, Bat Belt <laughs> Combat Belt Batman, which I think is a figure that Spot hasn't been able to, to correctly pronounce once. We've also got Turbo Jet Batman, Robin, the Riddler, we've got Two-Face, we got the Penguin, the Joker, Man Bat, Skydive Batman, Bruce Wayne to Batman, the Hover Bat, the Batmobile, the Bat Cycle, the Joker Mobile, and finally the BATV, the Bat All Terrain Vehicle. There you go. Now this isn't a new box. It's a it, the box is in pretty good condition, but uh, I've vehicles already been put together. So all I'm going to do is basically I'm going to take a bit of a break. Going to get the box opened up. We're going to get the vehicle out. We're going to have a better look at the Joker Mobile. Everybody excited? I am! Let's do this. Be right back. Before we actually have a look at the Joker Mobile, which I gotta say is fantastic already, the one thing that's really cool about this box is also the fact that, remember back in the day in the 80s, we used to get ourselves action toy guides, or little manual catalogs that gave us a list of everything that that manufacturer put out. In this case, the Joker Mobile comes with a Kenner action toy guide. You'll see several different blasts from the past on the front, including Nerf, The Bad Beast, Jurassic Park, Starting Lineup, Batman Returns, Batman the Animated Series, Aliens, and Terminator 2. I'm not going to go through every single page on here, but oh, look at the memories. Lone Tear. Got ourselves Jurassic Park. We got The Claw. Anybody remember The Claw? I do. I might have even had one. I don't know. There's the Batman the Animated Series. Doesn't get any better than this. Some vehicles, some fantastic vehicles. The Batmobile, Bat Cycle, even the Hover Bat. You just can't get stuff like this anymore. Uh, we got Terminator 2, we got Nerf, Nerf, some more Nerf, Turbo Screamers, the Turbo Torch, more Nerf. Starting lineup. Now, this really wasn't my thing. But it might have been your thing. If it is, there you go. Starting lineup. Some more starting lineup. And uh, some aliens. Remember aliens? When there was like bull alien and gorilla alien? Look at them. Look at them going on right there. All weird like. Oh. The queen face hugger. Snake alien. Who's making this stuff up? Mantis alien. Awesome though. Some vehicles. But there you go. Not really part of the actual toy, but something I definitely wanted to show in the review. You're welcome. Just gonna put that aside. Let's have a look at the Joker Mobile, which uh, looks awesome. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a, I guess, a roadster. Do you want to really call it a roadster? Let's say it's a roadster. Uh, it's green. Well, it, it's not really a green. It's kind of more like a aqua kind of bluish green. We've got the yellow at the top. Stickers are still in good condition. We've got a Joker sticker right there. Let's zoom in. Right there, there's a Joker sticker. On the sides, there's some applied stickers to the wheels. Nice red color there with the yellow. There's the front. Oh, hey, somebody's peeking in there. Hey, who's in there? Who's in there? 
<laughs> we'll get into that in a second. Um, other stickers that have been applied is there's some stickers, sticker application to the dashboard, right there. No steering wheel. I don't know what. Jo I don't. Know, I don't know how Joker's going to steer this thing, but maybe he just presses some buttons. The green button turns left. Purple button turns right, and the red button, of course, stops. Um, the vehicle rolls really well, as you would hope it would, because it has four wheels. There's just an undersiding of the vehicle. Made in Mexico. Fantastic. Now, I mean, I couldn't necessarily review the Joker Mobile without a Joker figure, so I f thought, well, it's a retro spot. Let's go old school with this. There's the retro Joker figure. I'm just going to take Joker, bend his legs. I was going to sit inside the vehicle, and we're going to put Joker in the vehicle. If he is going to fit, perhaps he isn't. There he is. He should. There we go. And uh, you have Joker inside the vehicle. Still rolling quite easily. The added weight of the Joker has not affected at all the vehicle. Now, as for the features, this whole yellow canopy, I guess, do you want to call it a canopy? This whole yellow section of the Joker Mobile actually will lift. This motor right here will also serve as, oh, maybe I shouldn't even give it away yet. But we, basically what you're going to do is you're going to lift this piece, this piece right here, Trying to do it subtlety, but subtlety has not been my was not my strongest suit. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to do, I got Joker's hands in the way. Let's move Joker's hands out of the way. There we go. And what I'm going to do, if I can get this to actually lift up, why is it stuck? Maybe I got Joker's. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I had <laughs> I had Joker's legs in the wrong way. They were, they were getting in the way. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. We can rewind this for a second. Okay. So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to lift this canopy up. And the the uh, the thruster, or the, the engine of the vehicle, now actually shoots out these two Gatlin, or these two guns. And basically what you're then turning the vehicle into is, uh, I guess, a tank, a battled armored car, maybe. One thing is very obvious, then, is the big, smiley Joker face down at the bottom of the, of the vehicle. Kind of looks like Joker, if Joker was turned into a car. Uh, there are the guns, as well, at the top, right there. Don't want to put my finger too close to it in case they go off. And uh, that is one of the features. There is also a secondary feature. You'll notice on the side of the vehicle there is a this one long tailpipe. The other side doesn't have it, just the one side here. You'll also notice at the front of the face that this piece here looks like it's a separate piece. Well, it is. It is. Uh, what you'll do is basically take the tailpipe and extend it out. You're basically going to pull it out. When you pull it out, this smiling mouth, I guess, uh, fires off the vehicle. So if I can demonstrate here, I'm just going to pry this, we're going to pull it out and make sure I got it lined up here. There we go. And it would basically fire this piece right here, this smiley mouth missile. I wouldn't say it's much of a missile as much as it's just a projectile. Maybe it could impale somebody. Not the best imagery we want to be giving children, but nonetheless. Uh, when that fires off, you'll still get a Joker face underneath, which I like. It's not that once the, the mouth is gone, you're basically just having an open chasm. You're still going to get a nice Joker smiley face out of it. Just a really, really cool vehicle. I'll put the projectile back in just to show you guys. And you just snap it back into place. And again, to fire, you're just going to pry this, you're going to pull this out. Uh, when the Joker is not armored up or Joker just wants to get away, you'll lower this back down. And then once again, we've got ourselves the Joker hot rod. And Joker can get away. He's not going to get away very far because the backdrop's in the way. Um, but just a very cool vehicle nonetheless. Um, I guess I can give a rating to it. I mean, it's not a figure, but as a vehicle, it certainly is one of the best. And... Uh, one of the few, too. I mean, aside from the Joker cycle that was from the 89 Batman, 
there hasn't been a lot of Joker vehicles for these smaller scale figures. You could also really even use it for the uh, the Justice League Unlimited Joker as well. Now, granted, that Joker would be a little bit smaller, but still, it would it serve its purpose. Um, if I could give the rating to a vehicle like the Joker Mobile, I'm going to give it a 6.5. There's not a lot going on for it, but it, whatever it's doing, it's still doing a pretty good job of it. Today's retro spot. This guy was having a look and was showing you guys the Batman the Animated Series Joker Mobile. Let me know down below if you maybe have picked this up when you were younger, or maybe had one when you were younger, or maybe you might still even have one in your collection. Thanks for watching though, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Woo!